Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Survival Challenge. It is now September and our sugar beets are ready to harvest. So it is time to buy a sugar beet harvester. So let's take a look. There is only one that we can afford, and that is the KS6B. It's an old, old sugar beet harvester. $26,000. So we're going to buy that. We'll keep it in its original color. I kind of like that. So we're going to buy that. And then we need to buy the header that goes along with it. So we're going to buy the sugar beet header. All right, now we're ready to harvest some sugar beets. That header's a little tricky to get on. I found that if you back onto it, it, it attaches much easier than if you try to drive forward onto it. This is a great little mod. It's inexpensive. It allows you to do sugar beets and potatoes without the just the mess that normally goes along with this. So uh, I really like this mod. It's going to take us a little while, but... It won't take as long as it would if we used the single row sugar beet harvester. This at least does a few rows at a time. I'm going to pick up the speed on this just a little bit. Or maybe I'm not. Yeah, now I'll pick up the speed on it. There, now we can do this in a timely manner.
ended up with 76,995 liters of sugar beets out of that tiny little field. I'm always amazed at how huge the yield is on root crops. So we're going to turn all that into sugar. And we'll either sell that or we'll use it in a, another production. We've got some, looks like some more olive oil that spawned. So I'm going to unload this. I'm going to grab the other trailer and we're going to load that up and sell some things. All right, I've got this reconfigured as a bale trailer so that we can haul some stuff. I'm having second thoughts about the chickens. Now that we have some sugar in the mill, we have sugar, we have flour, we have eggs, and those are the ingredients for donuts. So I'm thinking seriously about putting in a donut shop. Um, we've done it before, but it sure is a good source of income. And it's relatively inexpensive. So thinking about that, but right now we're going to sell, I think, what we have here, which is one case of olive oil. And then I think we also have some grape juice. So we'll have that spawn and some pig food. Looks like we're going to have a couple of loads to sell, maybe more. So I'll see you guys over there. All right, I did some looking and Tesco has the best price on both grape juice and olive oil. So we can sell them both right here. All right, very good. And go back and get the rest of this. All right, so we're right about where we were before we bought the sugar beet harvester. So that's good. I think we're about five grand less than we were when we bought the sugar beet harvester. So we're pretty back, pretty close to back to where we were. I'll meet you guys back at the farm and then we're going to figure out what comes next. Well, it's becoming pretty clear to me that we are going to need a, a bigger vehicle, a bigger tractor, perhaps, and for sure a larger trailer. Because right now we can't, we can't afford to be making multiple runs into town in the same day. If we have a load of things to sell, we need to be able to do that in one load. So... We're going to look into that. I think right now I'm keeping the chickens. I mean, we have 360 chickens right now. And so we have a full chicken coop 
and they're producing eggs really well. And they're really not eating that much food. So if we have to buy them food, we can do that. I think, though, right now, we're going to go ahead and sell our silage. We're going to be harvesting pretty soon, and we'll have some more straw to put in there. We can dump some grass in there. We have some in the silo. Right now, we have 485,000 liters of silage, and we have no cows, so we don't really have a use for it. It's just there to make us money, so we're going to go ahead and sell that. There's no way we can cart that all to town, so we're just going to have to sell it directly. And we're going to speed up time. So this should be a fairly large chunk of money. Why, yes, yes, it is. So yeah, we made about 70 grand on silage there. So we're back up over a hundred thousand dollars. That's really good. Um, it's now raining. So I think even though it's only 11 a.m., I think what we're going to need to do is go ahead and sleep. Oh, let me get the tractor back. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and sleep. And then tomorrow, I think our sunflowers should be ready so we can get those harvested and into the mill so we can start making soybean oil. Not soybean oil, sunflower oil. And our canola may be ready tomorrow, too. See you guys in the morning. Well, we are stock full of eggs on chickens. Our sunflowers and our canola is ready. We're going to run down and pull those pallets of eggs out of the way so that our chickens can continue to make eggs. Actually, we might as well go ahead and turn this back into a grain trailer. And if I'm not mistaken, we have some sorghum in here maybe i honestly don't remember yep we do that should do it so we're going to feed the chickens and move the eggs And let's get all these guys out of the way. All right, chickens are good. So I think what we're going to do is today in this episode, we're going to harvest our sunflowers and then we'll leave this, the uh, canola until the next episode. So let's hop in the harvester. And we're going to need our corn header.
And let's get these sunflowers. Alright, this is the last little piece here. Looks like we're going to get about 7,800 liters. Not as good a yield as I had hoped, but it is a small field and it's sunflowers, so we got 7,785. And we're going to turn that into sunflower oil. Well, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. If you like this video, I sure would appreciate a thumbs up or a subscription. If you didn't like this video, please post a comment and tell me why. Either way, thanks so much for being here. I'll see you next time.